Coming a long way across the universe, a peculiar visitor has left scientists scratching their heads. Dubbed Oumuamua, this enigmatic object, first spotted by the Haleakala Observatory in Hawaii on October 19, 2017, has sparked a firestorm of debate within the scientific community. As the first recognized interstellar object to grace our solar system, Oumuamua's arrival was initially met with excitement. However, as researchers began to study this cosmic wanderer, they quickly realized that it defied easy classification. With its unusual shape and surprising acceleration, Oumuamua has become the center of an ongoing battle among academics, each vying to unravel the mystery surrounding its true nature and origins. Is it a comet masquerading as an asteroid? A fragment of a shattered alien world? Or could it be something far more extraordinary? A piece of advanced technology crafted by an otherworldly civilization? On a seemingly ordinary night in October 2017, Astronomers at the Haleakala Observatory in Hawaii were about to make a groundbreaking discovery. As they scanned the starry sky, a peculiar object caught their attention. Little did they know that this small, unassuming speck of light would soon take the scientific world by storm. The object in question was initially thought to be just another asteroid or comet. But as researchers began to study it more closely, they quickly realized that there was something truly remarkable about this celestial body. Dubbed Oumuamua, a Hawaiian name meaning scout or first distant messenger, this object was about to earn its place in the annals of astronomical history. One of the first things that struck scientists about Oumuamua was its size. Estimated to be between 100 and 1,000 meters long, this relatively small object was unlike anything they had ever encountered before. But size wasn't the only thing that set Oumuamua apart from its cosmic counterparts. As researchers continued to observe Oumuamua, they noticed that it had a peculiar shape. Unlike the spherical or potato-shaped asteroids and comets we're accustomed to seeing, Oumuamua appeared to be long and thin, with an aspect ratio of roughly 10.1. This cigar-like shape was so unusual that some scientists even speculated that it might be an artificial object, like a spacecraft or probe created by an alien civilization. However, the strangeness of Oumuamua didn't end there. When astronomers plotted its trajectory, they discovered that this object was moving at an incredible speed of about 196,000 miles per hour. This is far faster than any object originating from within our solar system could achieve, leading scientists to a startling conclusion. Oumuamua must have come from another star system altogether. This realization sent shockwaves through the astronomical community. Never before had we directly observed an object from beyond our solar system. The implications were staggering. If Oumuamua could travel such vast distances, then it stood to reason that there must be countless other interstellar objects out there, drifting through the cosmos and waiting to be discovered. As the first of its kind, Oumuamua was given a special designation. The prefix, one eye, was added to its name, indicating its status as the first known interstellar object. This nomenclature set the stage for future discoveries, with the promise of 2i, 3i, and beyond, as we continue to explore the universe around us. The discovery of Oumuamua marked a pivotal moment in our understanding of the cosmos. It demonstrated that the space between stars is not an empty void, but rather a highway of sorts, filled with objects that have been ejected from their home systems and sent on a journey through the galaxy. But even as we marveled at the implications of Oumuamua's existence, we were left with more questions than answers. Where did this object come from? What was it made of? And perhaps most intriguingly, was it a natural phenomenon? Or could it be something more? If you're liking the video so far, you should consider subscribing to the channel and help us create better content and reach more explorers out there. Now back to the video. As scientists continued to study Oumuamua, they began to notice something peculiar about its behavior. This interstellar visitor wasn't just drifting through our solar system, it was actually accelerating away from the sun in a way that defied conventional explanations. This anomalous acceleration immediately caught the attention of researchers worldwide. In physics, it's a well-established principle that objects can only accelerate when acted upon by an external force. For instance, a car accelerates when the engine propels it forward, 
or a ball changes direction when struck by a bat. But in the case of Oumuamua, there was no apparent force that could account for its unexpected motion. The anomaly was first detected by Marco Michele and his team at the European Space Agency. By carefully tracking Oumuamua's position over time, they noticed that the object was deviating from its predicted trajectory. This deviation was small, but it was consistent and unmistakable. Oumuamua was accelerating at a rate of about 2.5 millimeters per second each day, which may not sound like much, but it was enough to challenge our understanding of celestial mechanics. To put this anomaly into perspective, let's consider the motion of comets in our solar system. As a comet approaches the sun, it heats up, causing the icy material on its surface to sublimate and create an outgassing effect. This outgassing acts like a tiny thruster, providing a gentle push that can alter the comet's trajectory. However, in the case of Oumuamua, no such outgassing was observed. The object lacked the characteristic coma and tail of a comet, making its acceleration all the more baffling. Scientists were determined to get to the bottom of this mystery. They began to explore various hypotheses that could potentially explain Oumuamua's anomalous acceleration. One of the first ideas put forward was that the object might be experiencing a push from solar radiation pressure. This phenomenon occurs when photons from the sun strike an object and transfer their momentum to it, resulting in a slight acceleration. However, when researchers crunched the numbers, they found that solar radiation pressure alone couldn't account for the observed acceleration of Oumuamua. The object's small size and presumed low mass meant that it would need to be incredibly thin and lightweight to be pushed by sunlight in the way that was observed. Estimates suggested that Oumuamua would need to be less than a millimeter thick to experience the necessary acceleration, which seemed highly unlikely given its estimated size of hundreds of meters. Another hypothesis that was considered and subsequently ruled out was the influence of solar wind. This stream of charged particles emanating from the sun can exert a force on objects in space, but once again, the numbers didn't add up. The solar wind is much weaker than solar radiation pressure, and it would have an even smaller effect on an object of Oumuamua's size. As these initial explanations were eliminated, scientists were left scratching their heads. The anomalous acceleration of Oumuamua seemed to defy the laws of physics as we understood them. It was a puzzle that would require out-of-the-box thinking and a willingness to consider even the most outlandish possibilities. Some researchers began to speculate that Oumuamua might be a comet after all, but one with unusual properties that made it difficult to detect its outgassing. Others suggested that the object could be a fragment of a larger body that had been shattered by some cosmic catastrophe, leaving behind an irregularly shaped piece with unexpected dynamics. And then there were those who dared to dream of more exotic explanations. Could Oumuamua be a spacecraft of alien origin, propelled by some advanced technology that we have yet to understand? While this idea may seem far-fetched, it couldn't be entirely dismissed given the object's peculiar behavior. The three main contenders that emerged were the Comet Hypothesis, the Asteroid Hypothesis, and the Alien Spacecraft Hypothesis. One of the most vocal proponents of the alien spacecraft theory was Harvard professor Avi Loeb. In a series of papers and public statements, Loeb argued that Oumuamua's unusual characteristics could be best explained if it were an artificial object specifically a light sail crafted by an advanced alien civilization. Loeb's hypothesis was based on the idea that a thin, lightweight sail could be propelled by the pressure of sunlight, much like a boat is pushed by the wind. He calculated that if Oumuamua were a light sail, it would need to be less than a millimeter thick to experience the observed acceleration. While this may seem implausibly thin, Loeb argued that an advanced civilization could have the technology to create such a structure. The light sail hypothesis garnered significant media attention, but it also faced criticism from many in the scientific community. Some researchers argued that there was no direct evidence to support the idea of an alien artifact, and that jumping to such a conclusion was premature and unwarranted. On the other side of the debate was Daryl Seligman, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Chicago. Seligman and his colleagues proposed a very different explanation for Oumuamua's anomalous acceleration, the hydrogen iceberg theory. According to this hypothesis, Oumuamua could be a chunk of molecular hydrogen ice that had broken off from a larger body in interstellar space. Hydrogen ice is extremely rare in our solar system, 
but it could potentially form in the cold, dense molecular clouds where stars are born. Seligman argued that if Oumuamua were made of hydrogen ice, it could experience a gentle push from the sublimation of this ice as it approached the sun. This outgassing would be difficult to detect because hydrogen doesn't strongly interact with light, making it invisible to most telescopes. The hydrogen iceberg theory offered a natural explanation for Oumuamua's acceleration without invoking alien technology. However, it too faced challenges. Some scientists questioned whether a hydrogen iceberg could survive the long journey through interstellar space without evaporating, and whether such an object could have the observed shape and rotation of Oumuamua. The debate between Loeb and Seligman played out in the pages of scientific journals and in the media, with each researcher defending their hypothesis and critiquing the other's work. In the end, neither the light sail nor the hydrogen iceberg theory emerged as a clear winner. But Seligman wasn't ready to give up on the idea of a natural explanation for Oumuamua's acceleration. In collaboration with Jennifer Bergner, a researcher at the University of California, Berkeley, he developed a new hypothesis, the dark comet theory. This theory proposed that Oumuamua could be a comet, but one with unusual properties that made it difficult to detect. Specifically, Seligman and Bergner suggested that Oumuamua could be covered in a thick layer of organic material that would make it appear dark and hide any outgassing from view. The dark comet hypothesis drew on the idea that comets can form in the outer regions of star systems, where they can accumulate layers of organic compounds over time. If Oumuamua had formed in such an environment, and then been ejected into interstellar space, it could have the unusual characteristics that were observed. Like the other theories, the dark comet hypothesis had its strengths and weaknesses. It offered a natural explanation for Oumuamua's acceleration and its lack of visible outgassing, but it still struggled to fully account for the object's shape and rotation. In the end, the mystery of Oumuamua remained unsolved, but the scientific community had been galvanized by the challenge, and researchers were more determined than ever to unravel the secrets of our interstellar visitor. Some scientists began to wonder if this peculiar object was truly one of a kind. If Oumuamua was a natural phenomenon, surely there must be other examples of similarly behaving bodies in the universe. This realization sparked a new phase in the scientific community's quest to understand our interstellar visitor, the hunt for more Oumuamuas. Leading the charge in this search were Daryl Seligman and Jennifer Bergner, the researchers who had proposed the dark comet hypothesis. They reasoned that if Oumuamua was indeed a comet with unusual properties, there might be other objects in our own solar system that exhibited similar anomalous acceleration. Seligman and Bergner began to scour astronomical databases, looking for any evidence of unexplained motion in the orbits of known asteroids and comets. It was a daunting task, given the vast number of objects in our solar system and the subtle nature of the acceleration they were seeking. But their diligence paid off. After months of careful analysis, Seligman and Bergner identified six candidates that seemed to fit the bill. These objects, all classified as asteroids, showed signs of non-gravitational acceleration that couldn't be fully explained by the usual suspects, such as solar radiation pressure or outgassing. One of the most intriguing candidates was an object known as 1998 KY26. This small asteroid, measuring just 30 meters across, had been discovered in 1998 by the Space Watch Survey at Kitt Peak National Observatory. What made 1998 KY26 particularly interesting was that it was already the target of a planned spacecraft visit. In 2031, the Japanese space agency JAXA is set to send a probe called Hayabusa 2 to study 1998 KY26 up close. The mission's primary goal is to investigate the asteroid's surface properties and composition, but Seligman and Bergner realized that it could also provide a unique opportunity to study one of their Oumuamua candidates in unprecedented detail. If 1998 KY26 was indeed exhibiting anomalous acceleration, the Hayabusa 2 mission could potentially detect this motion and shed light on its cause. The spacecraft's instruments would be able to search for any signs of outgassing or other activity that might be responsible for the asteroid's unusual behavior. The prospect of getting a close-up look at one of these mysterious objects was tantalizing, 
but Seligman and Bergner knew that they couldn't put all their eggs in one basket. The other five candidates they had identified were also worthy of further study, even if they weren't the targets of any planned missions. The researchers began to advocate for more resources to be devoted to studying these objects, arguing that they could hold the key to understanding not just Oumuamua, but a whole class of previously unknown astronomical phenomena. They proposed new observation campaigns and theoretical studies aimed at unlocking the secrets of these anomalous accelerators. As word of their findings spread, other scientists began to take notice. Some were skeptical, arguing that the evidence for anomalous acceleration in these objects was still too weak to draw firm conclusions. Others were more receptive, seeing in Seligman and Bergner's work the potential for a major breakthrough in our understanding of the universe. Debate and discussion swirled around the astronomical community, as researchers grappled with the implications of these new discoveries. If Seligman and Bergner were right, and there were indeed more objects like Oumuamua out there, it would mean that our models of solar system dynamics were incomplete. It would suggest that there were forces at work in the universe that we had yet to fully comprehend. But even as the scientific world buzzed with excitement and uncertainty, Seligman and Bergner remained focused on their goal. They knew that the hunt for more Oumuamuas was just beginning, and that there was still much work to be done. As we reflect on the incredible journey of Oumuamua and the scientific odyssey it sparked, it's hard not to feel a sense of awe and wonder. This tiny, enigmatic object, no more than a speck in the vast expanse of the cosmos, has managed to challenge some of our most fundamental assumptions about the universe and our place within it. Oumuamua's discovery and subsequent study have shown us that the universe is full of surprises. Just when we think we have a handle on the laws that govern the cosmos, along comes an object that defies our expectations and forces us to rethink our theories. But far from being a cause for despair, this realization is a testament to the power and beauty of scientific inquiry. Science is not a collection of immutable truths, but a living, breathing process of discovery and revision. Each new observation, each unexpected finding, is an opportunity to learn and grow, to push the boundaries of our understanding and explore new frontiers of knowledge. Perhaps one day, we will have definitive answers to the questions posed by Oumuamua. The planned visit to 1998 KY26 in 2031 could be a major step in that direction, providing us with an unprecedented close-up look at one of these enigmatic objects. But even if that mission yields new insights, it's likely that it will also raise new questions and open up new avenues of inquiry. And that, in the end, is the true beauty of science. It is a never-ending quest for understanding, a journey that takes us from the smallest subatomic particles to the largest structures in the universe. Each new discovery is a reminder of how much we still have to learn and how much wonder and mystery there is yet to be explored. Speaking of mysteries, have you ever heard about the Kardashev scale? Basically, it evaluates civilizations by their development, especially into their energy consumption habits. Earth is now a type zero on the scale, but what makes it interesting is that we will never be able to see a type seven. If you wanna know more about that, on the video in your screen, we go deeper into those questions. What new mysteries is humanity going to uncover next? Leave it here in the comments and take the opportunity to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.